Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Windows Server 2019 Joiner Domain, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're going to right-click on Properties on the machine to get to um, Advanced System Settings and Basic Information, and we're going to click on the Computer Name, uh, Domain and Workgroup Settings, and from there we can add the machine to a domain. And the domain we've set up in previous videos is called Active Directory Local. So again, that's from System Properties and Computer Name Stroke Domain Name. So the first time I've gone to do this, um, it hasn't been able to find Active Directory Local, and usually it would find it first time. So we'll just try that again. So whether I use Active Directory or Active Directory Local, it doesn't appear to work. So we'll drop down to a command shell and see if we can find any reason for that. So we're going to use NS Lookup, which is Name Server Lookup. Uh, the address dot there dot one hundred one is my domain server, my domain controller. And if I look for Active Directory Local, it does return the correct IP address. So that looks right. Um, so a little bit puzzled as to why that didn't work first time. What I subsequently found is that unless I remove every DNS server um, I could find out of my network settings, apart from the domain controller, um, this didn't work. So I'm not sure why having additional DNS servers in there, but when I just uh, use DNS servers that are Active Directory domain controllers for that domain, this worked properly. So either a quirk of it or just that it just took a little bit of time. So you can see there, now I've done it this time, I can find the domain controller and it will let me authenticate. So if in doubt, if it doesn't work first time, just make sure the only DNS servers you've got listed are the ones that are the actual domain controls for the domain. And once you've joined the domain, maybe add them back in again afterwards. So just give it a second and we should get a message to say that we've successfully joined the domain, activedirectory.local. And once we've done that, it will ask us to restart as a new domain member. You can see there it says default domain policy, so now it's joined. I've just paused it briefly there because that whizzes by quite quickly. But you can see it successfully joined the domain and then applied a policy. I'm going to control delete or control insert to put a password in. You notice this is the administrator, so the local administrator. So I can still log on as the local administrator even though this box has joined the domain. We'll just have a quick look at the settings there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to log back out again and then log back in again as the domain administrator. So in this instance, we're logged on as just the administrator, even though the uh, the local administrator, even though it's a member of the Active Directory local domain. So we'll restart this box. And then this time when prompted, we're going to log on. You'll be able to see there it's now Active Directory backslash administrator. So we're still logging on as the administrator, but the domain administrator, not the local administrator. And if I just browse to the user profile directory, you'll notice that we've got an administrator directory and an administrator.active directory. So they're the two profiles for the two administrators that we've logged on as. So that was Windows Server 2019, join a domain, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.